Welcome to the channel. This video is long overdue. Where we do our best. Play video games and sing a song or two. And although they're mostly just improv. And a cappella I'll include. It's important I'll say. Get it started, dude. Welcome, bras and bros. To the place of a monster studio. Trademark pending, obviously. We'll see how that trademark works out. Welcome, welcome, all stars. I'd like to thank you for tuning in today. For me, it's a Sunday afternoon, but that heat out there is just something else, right? Right under 100 degrees, right at 99. But I'm not here to talk about the weather. So, all six of you who've been watching my content here and there might have finally noticed some massive improvements. My arc with getting a new working PC has been completed. The audio issues may all be done with, I can only hope. I've got OBS set up, and we will see how that goes. But uh, if you look at my tabs here, you'll see uh, one of the reasons why my uh, audio is going to be a lot better. Why you're not going to hear background noise all the time. Uh, we can thank Big A for that, um, NVIDIA, am I right? boop -a boop 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 NVIDIA. Um, what I did to get, uh, all the background noise out there, I recommend, well, I can't say I recommend it, because apparently I've heard that if your PC's not up to specs, this will destroy your CPU use, uh, your CPU, GPU usage, I don't know. But, uh, NVIDIA Broadcast, uh, thanks NVIDIA because uh, you were, you shouldn't be hearing any background noise. Uh, I tested this out before uh, I did this recording, and we'll see how it goes when we stream, because I've got it uh, set up in Streamlabs as well. But instead of talking about Brandon, uh, let's talk about me. That doesn't sound self-serving at all. We don't have to talk about how I've suddenly downloaded uh, Balloons, and I spent five hours straight playing on it yesterday. And we don't need to talk about all the simpler times it was for uh, Brandon. Big A. Wait, anyway, yeah, where was I? Yeah, I sure do do that a lot. No, I'm here to announce Gaming Summer. Now, this has been something I've been talking about for months. But now that I finally have the PC, we can get it started. So, all of four people might have heard this, which means, you know, I guess I have to kind of explain the concept. So I played video games casually throughout my life, but like real talk, I haven't played, let alone beaten many games. I am infamous for starting games, not finishing them. Um, I don't have the screenshot ready. I guess I'll have to pull it up. But yeah, uh, if you take a look at this, you can see I have 800 hours in XCOM 2, but I also haven't beaten it. You could probably tell by looking at my achievements. And it's not because it's a hard game. Uh, it's because, I've talked about this before, I'm just notorious for not finishing games, and especially with XCOM 2, uh, they upgrade the mod launcher so much that, uh, eventually it can just de derail my entire campaign and I have to start over. Uh, I've, I've learned to fix around around this, but we're not here to talk about just XCOM, no, no! We're here to talk more about myself. Uh, I don't have much to hide within reason. Uh, I don't want to dox myself or anything, but I'm a dude, as hopefully you can tell. Uh, I'm 22 years old, a person of color, not that that should matter, and I'm like the world's youngest boomer. Uh, also a lame gamer, as you can tell from my 800 hours in XCOM 2 and not beating it. And that's only one of the games. Um, but yeah, I'm not a very techie dude. I've never been on social media much. 
which uh, I'm working on. I know some people get lost in the sauce, but I don't think that could be me. Um, as arrogant as it may sound. Like, my regular series of games, if you could call it that, have been Monster Hunter. Like, all those series, all the XCOM games, Pokemon. And then occasionally, I've played and beaten the Dark Souls titles. And by that, I mean 1 through 3. Uh, Bloodborne couldn't be me, and haven't haven't even thought about touching Elden Ring yet. But lately, uh, in games, I've been a little cocky, but I feel like that, you know, makes them more fun, right? Because, you know, when you're arrogant and you're throwing a bit, it just makes it more fun. Because, you know, without those low points, the highs don't really matter. Even though we finally made it, to we made it through Victory Road, but right outside the doors, our rival, who we clowned on the entire game, he decided to use a fighting type, and in a moment of weakness, and me reading faulty knowledge off the internet, I had a normal type. I shouldn't have done it. I knew four members of our team were weak to fighting, but I thought it would be fine. I even talked about how there was no trainers here. But we still lost Darkrai, and that really sucks. But uh, we can't be sad forever. I, I am torn up about it. Yeah, as you can tell, that was very framey. Uh, that was back when I was on my laptop. I have a PC now, which is one of the reasons we could start gaming summer. And the games run better. But if it wasn't for that low point, we wouldn't have had such a poggers moment. Uh, this is from the same randomizer, TM's randomize, all that cool stuff. And uh, I lost my Heracross to a Latios because I was dumb. And we were put in a situation against a plus six Darkrai where I had stalled out most of its moves, but this is like it. This is plus six evasion, none of my attacks hit except for a shadow sneak, and I legitimately thought the run was over. Dark Void. What? What? You hit a fucking Dark Void? I can't believe 30 turns in the universe. What? your champion <laughs> I fear no gods what was I worried about everyone who died deserved it but yeah that was a very fun and great moment it led to comedy and everyone who was there had a laugh about it because our original starter was uh, Darkrai as well um, Clefairy Metronome Dark Void which was funny but the most poetic thing about it is Mewtwo could have been the starter we chose, and we just caught one in the wild, and we used it to defeat a plus six Darkrai, which is also how our Darkrai died. Uh, they were hit through double team. Uh, very funny. But instead of going back uh, to what's been going on recently, I guess I should go back into why I'm doing Gamer Summer. Uh, because believe it or not, I am not much of a gamer. Oh, I should watch how I use that hard R there. Uh, I can't use that word yet. Like, I almost completely dropped out of gaming in, like, late 2017. Uh, if you tuned into any of my streams and stuff, you'd know my gaming history outside of Monster Hunter and all that. Uh, but yeah, I haven't really played many video games since then, except for those titles. Although this doesn't mean I'm stopping any of the series that I'm doing now. 
uh, we'll, we're still going to be doing the Mocha Platinum stuff, that Nuzlocke, but I, I want to broaden my horizons a bit, if that makes any sense. I know it sounds arrogant of me to be like, oh, I want to play a bunch of games and do them on the harder difficulties and stuff, but we know what happens when I feel like we're safe, right? Alright, Cherim. I'll give you one shot to break my sub. Oh no, a sunny day. Whatever will we do? Alright. Time to flex. If Yuki dies, they die. Go, go, Yuki. Now set up the... <laughs> and it shouldn't be super effective anymore. Nice weather ball, kid. Oh god. That was neutral. Alright, so we did the thing that I wanted to do. Which is super cool. But, um... We're not even in a bad spot. Because I'm just going to go to Crobat. I was like, I could uh, go into... Uh, I could do the fake out thing I was talking about, where we just cycle in fake out Pokemon. Ugh, but I'll just send you to the Shadow Realm, because we're faster. Because I'm a freaking Crobat. Oh god, that was a crit? Ooh. Oh god. <laughs> <gasps> Once again, every level counts, kids. Alright, uh, let's do a quick summary. <laughs> and as you can see, I was never punished for trying to flex on the AI. Uh, rightfully deserved, as many would say. But yeah, the Mogul Platinum Star Nuzlocke, it isn't going to stop anytime soon. Uh, we have lost Pokemon due to my idiocy, but uh, never have we been punished in a way uh, that really changed much about the status quo. But um, yeah, we're talking about what Gamer Summer is. We've done a lot of reflecting on the past, so let me go on to actually talk about what it is. What Gamer Summer is, is me playing a bunch of games, as you can imagine, is on my back catalog. Because the past three, three-ish years, I haven't played many new video games that have come out. And I've decided to change that. And the way we're going to change that is by flipping a coin. So we're going to pull up the Windows browser. So the first thing we're going to decide between is Minecraft or Undertale. And I know that's crazy. You haven't ever played Minecraft. And I won't lie, I've played Minecraft before. I probably have a total of four hours worth of experience. Which basically means I know everything there is to know about it, right? It's a game for children. I know it's very nuanced and such. But I'm pretty confident I can beat Minecraft. My oh, Minecraft is heads, by the way. Okay, I didn't... This isn't planned. This isn't staged. Uh, Minecraft it is. Uh, this video is not... Uh, I almost said this isn't pre-recorded. That's exactly what this is. Uh, this isn't staged. Uh, the choices were between Minecraft and Undertale uh, for the first thing, because I wanted something to be light. Because, uh, again, Minecraft, Minecraft can't be that hard. Uh, my plan is to do, I think it's called Hardcore, mo hardcore mo Mode? I'm stuttering on my words. I think it's Hardcore mo Mode, and it's the one where you die, you stay dead. So my plan is to do a series until I beat Minecraft like that, and then we'll move on to Undertale. And uh, I know a bit about Undertale, I just know Sans is a funny skele skeleton, and that there's two routes you're supposed to go, pacifist or genocide. And from a lore perspective, I'm all about the lore, but there's, a, there's a plenty of games on the Gaming Sutter, Summer catalog. And I really just want to fight Sans, because allegedly he's the hardest uh, boss in that game. So I'm pretty sure I'll be doing the genocide route. But uh, that will also be in the future of Gaming Summer. But yeah, after I beat Minecraft, I will be going into Undertale. But after that... The next coin flip we're going to do is more of a long-term goal. 
these two, I guess, are more intense, more intense games. Um, it's gonna be Doom Eternal or uh, the Master Chief Collection. So I'm, I know the collection is a bunch of games. I think it's four games. And if I did that, that would probably be a much longer thing than beating Doom Eternal. I don't know. Um, but, uh, I almost said Minecraft. We already did that one. Halo will be heads and Doom Eternal will be tails. So let's see. All right, we'll be doing Doom Eternal before I do the Master Chief Collection. Which, you know, that's not a bad thing. Uh, I don't know if I'll be doing whatever the hardcore mode for Doom Eternal is, because I haven't played an FPS in at least three years. And why am I saying at least three years when I said I haven't been a quote-unquote gamer ever since 2017, even if that was my peak? Uh, reason being is the last FPS I played regularly was Destiny, the first one. Uh, I wasn't a fan of the second one when it launched, and I, I'm not going to go into it go into any of that we're talking about gamer summer over here but uh bungie made destiny and i'm sure it's not the exact same as halo but i'm like you know three years rusty at least like the last fps i played was probably fortnite and that was when fortnite came out uh, overwatch is another game series i've never played but i'm also uh not interested in starting at this at this time maybe that will change and then the third thing that uh, we're looking into would have to be uh, the Mass Effect collection. Now, anyone who's watched any of my videos, which I wouldn't blame you for not, because as you saw from what was recorded and all those things, it was awfully, awfully framey. And, you know, although I try to leave timestamps so you can catch all the cool moments or anything that you'd like to. But as far as Gaming Summer goes, the cataclysm of Gaming Summer, which I hope to start by late July, I don't know if I'm spreading myself uh, too thin here, is to be completing the Mass Effect collection. I've beaten the first two games, but that was on PlayStation 4. And like I've said, I'm not much of a PC gamer. I've been a console gamer my entire life, basically, um, for most, for all the quote-unquote intense games. I've never played an FPS on computer, so this whole gamer summer thing will be an experience. So we're going to be playing Legendary Edition. I could do, uh, I could do hardest difficulty in all three games, or at least for the third game for sure just because you know i'm more interested in getting to the new stuff that i haven't seen because i have played the first two games but yeah that's mainly what gamer summer is we're going to be completing like five seven games by the end of september and the way the scheduling will work um minecraft because that's what we landed on minecraft will always be on mondays i'll probably stream minecraft i mean come on it's minecraft sure because it's not gonna be too boring i don't think well i say that i don't know if doom would be boring to watch anyway uh, i'll probably steam stream that and then what i'll try to do is on my youtube channel probably where you're seeing this i'm just gonna do highlights uh, i started editing down my pokemon nuzlocke streams because no one in their right mind would watch someone play Pokemon for five, four or five hours straight, three days a week. But, uh, nonetheless, uh, we're gonna start doing more edited stuff, which, you know, I'm all for that. But it's not gonna be as, uh, pro as anything. Uh, I don't have editing software yet, but that will change! But nonetheless, yeah, so that will be Mondays. I don't know if Doom Eternal is a cool game to stream. I mean, it's very fast-paced and such. I think what I would rather do is upload highlights. I know I'm definitely doing that for um, Halo, unless a single commenter asks otherwise. But I'm just gonna... Uh, I'll probably upload my first death and then all the cool story moments or anything that gives me trouble. 
and that will be the end of it because that's like four games to beat and i'm like i said no one wants to watch me do all that but on another note besides our september deadline that's uh the summer plans welcome to the channel and all that uh i'm on star and before i end because this is a long time coming what i'd like to do is you know as i am a total noob and all as i'm working to become a hardcore gamer i'd like to give a shout out to my first ever commenter i don't know if they mistyped but it basically says enjoyed this is beautiful goodbye this was on our premiere video my first ever edited video it was a pokemon one and there weren't any major edits but it was like my first main premiere and someone left a comment and i don't know if i said it in that video or i know i probably said it plenty of times before that the first person to comment it doesn't matter what it is i'm framing it i'm framing it and maybe i'll put it on my wall um i did not as you can tell this is on top of a picture frame it is not actually framed but you know close enough all that good stuff but yeah that's me that's gamer summer that's the announcement um also a little about me all that good stuff but yeah thanks for tuning in if any of that interests you you know be sure to stop by we'll be streaming on uh twitch probably and uploading to my youtube channel i guess to, so if you want to witness a total noob tackle all those various games to earn uh, his gamer pass i hope to see you there and even if you don't be sure to let someone you know that you care about them and most importantly stay safe out there all stars and you know what leave a comment actually if you have any game suggestions besides minecraft undertale doom eternal master chief collection mass effect and then my mobile platinum nuzlocke let me know um you can probably check my by the time this is up you can check my stream schedule because now we've decided the games we're going to be doing but yeah thanks for stopping by all stars <laughs>